Hey guys, Hulls here from Hulls Fitness, down at the beautiful surface paradise on the Gold Coast. Not that you can probably see it, just a whole, oh yeah, there we go, a whole bunch of people running around. Just down here on Saturday morning, just dropped my fiance Siobhan off at work. Um, just thought I'd stop, no better place to do a video, I thought. Look, just want to do a quick video on uh, what sets are what reps are and exercise. Now this will all be based around a workout program scenario and also what to do after you go through a program whether it be for four weeks, six, eight, twelve or whatever the case may be. Now I know a lot of you out there you probably get um, programs that have you know a list of exercises and then it will say sets and reps. Uh, well let's start off with what a set is. A set is a group of one exercise consisting of X amount of reps. Now what are reps? Reps are repetitions. Reps are the, the amount of time, the, the single time that you do that particular exercise. So for example, I'll choose bench press. Um, so every time that I push the bar, off the bench, so that's one rep, two reps, three reps. So that's a repetition. Um, now I'll do that for eight to twelve reps, for example. That once I hit that twelfth rep, or you know whatever, let's say we go to hit twelve, that will then constitute as one set. Now in your program, it might say four times. 8 to 12 reps of bench press. So your bench press is the exercise, the 4 is how many sets you're going to do, and the 8 to 12 is how many repetitions you're going to do. So that is how many times do I exert energy in that single exercise. So every time I push the bar from my chest up, that's one rep. I do that 12 times, that's one set. I do that 4 times, and that's my whole bench press exercise complete. I hope that makes sense. Um, it might be very, very fundamental for a lot of you. I'm almost assuming 80% of you. But there are people out there who are just starting out. And this channel is to make fitness easy for everyone. Anywhere from beginner to intermediate, right up to advanced. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere going to be near it as advanced as most. Or as, sorry, not as most, as some. But, you know, every day I grow with my knowledge as well, and uh, I always appreciate criticism. No haters, no uh, negative comments, but criticism. And it will be taken in a way that it's, I respectfully would like that it's been put forth. So anyway, having said that, let's go back to, so we now know what sets are, what reps, and, you know, what the exercise is. Let's, can, let's uh, talk about... You, just got yourself a four week program off a reputable uh, website and hopefully um, it might be even mine. So www.hoolsfitness.com.au, look out for that. If it's not out already, that means this video is coming out before Monday. Uh, chances are it's not, so it's already there. Go and check it out, hoolsfitness.com.au. I do offer online coaching, etc. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do a plug. I've already done it. So you've got yourself a four week program uh, from a reputable and creditable person and or uh, uh, website. I mean, a lot of these are generic workout programs, uh, but a lot of the times they, they do work for the individual. So don't go thinking that you've got to do something super special that, you know, Phil Heath and Mr. Olympia does or anything like that because you don't. You know, all you've got to do is more essentially get active. Always get your diet and, no, not diet, I hate that word. Um, unless you are choosing to do it for a period of time. But get your nutrition in check first. That's the most important. Get active and get nutrition. But anyway, let's say you got your four-week program and it consists of X amount of exercises you know, for however many sets, for however many reps. Now, you come to the end of the four weeks and you're like, well, what happens now? Do I go back and do I go find another program? Do I go out and, you know, do I do the same program? Because a lot of people think, oh, no, my body's adapted. It's muscle memory and it's... My body knows this is what's going to happen. That's all bullshit. Um, your body will adapt to a program. 
Meaning that you've got strong enough to get used to that program. So I'm consider I'm assuming that throughout the four to six to eight weeks, you've done the same exercises. You've done the same sets, the same amount of repetitions. Now, if you liked the program that you were doing, you can stick to it. Simply do what they call a, um, a progressive overload. So what that means is now that you've gotten stronger and where it says 8 to 12 reps, you're now hitting 12 reps every time and you're thinking, yeah, that's a bit easy. So all you have to do is increase your weight. Progressive overload. So that's all you need to do to change that program. And you can do that for another four weeks. And chances are you'll get just as strong as you were before. Increase the weight again. There are going to come to a point where you're going to be lifting very heavy. So what you're going to want to do is, one, I hope for starters, you're concentrating on the way that your technique and your form is anyway. Because that should be most important. Leave your ego at the door and lift the way that your body is meant to lift and do it in a way that you're connecting that you might hear about the mind muscle connection you've got to make sure that when you're doing the exercise you're working that muscle part that it's intended for and you're not throwing other muscle groups into it as well and you're recruiting other muscles to do the work that only one should if that is happening to you that means that you need to go down and wait and there's no doubt about it. You know, if you're trying to lift, you know, 40 kilo dumbbells and you're throwing it up and your shoulders involved and your back's involved, what exercise are you doing? The only exercise you're probably doing is the one for your head, the one for your ego. So leave that at the door, drop weight, and get the form correct. So after having said that, you can just increase your weights over time and stick to the same program. Just increase the weight volume. Because when it says a program, like, an eight, like I said, an 8 to 12 or an 8 to 10 or whatever, if you're hitting that 10 or that last number every time, um, chances are it's too, too light for you. It's time to go up. You know, it can go up in increments of 1 kilo or 2.5 kilos. And for, you, for those other, you know, non... I um, can't think of the word, you know, in pounds, it'd be like five pounds, go up, you know, two pounds, or go up five pounds, you know, it's not something that you have to, you don't have to jump up 10 kilos or whatever, but so that's a way that you could change up your program, it's simple, um, or another style, you could stick to the same program again, but simply reduce the weight and increase the repetition range, that's another way that you can, you know, change up your program. Or you can go out and get a whole new program. However, if you get into a, it depends on what program you start out with too. Because a lot of people when they start off will be doing full body workouts, which is great and it's great for people who don't have enough time. And for, for myself, being a, you know, a body builder, I do individual body parts and I'll do it at the moment I'm on a five day split. Um, it's not even a split, sorry. Yeah, five day split. So I'll just do chest one day and then I'll go and do back and then I'll do um, legs day off, then I'll go and do shoulders and then arms. Um, after I think after my next competition, which is in about 12 weeks from today actually, um, I will change that up. Um, but generally all I do is I never really hit the same exercises every time. I just go in and say, alright, well I'm doing back today, so I might concentrate on a certain part of my back, you know. Um, but I've got, you know, I've got a bit more, I'm assuming I'm a little bit more ahead in ways that I can just switch it up because I know where to go and what to do. And that's probably, if you know that, that's probably not why you're at this channel. Um, you wouldn't be at this channel, sorry. So if you've gotten to the end of your program, I would, I would say, all right, well, if you enjoy doing the exercises, simply just do a progressive overload and increase the weight. Um, or seek help. You know, find out how, you know what program you should go on to next, and actually get someone to write one out for you, based on your goals. Because I mean, I'm not going to go and give you a. If your goal is to step on stage, I'm not going to give you full body workouts five days a week. Uh, that'd be ridiculous. Um, just like it would be silly if you want if you were sports specific to go and give you a bodybuilder's workout plan. You know, that would be silly too. 
So it, make sure that the program that you've got is specific to you. It doesn't have to be tailored towards you, but it's specific to what your goals are. You know, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, um, strength, uh, you're wanting to step on stage, you're wanting to, you know, just lose those few extra kilos. Make sure it's specific in that area. Um, a good coach will be able to tailor it towards you specifically and hitting target areas that you might be lagging in or you might want to, you know, that uh, you might have issues with, I guess. Now, that doesn't to say that you've got an issue with, you know, fat around your belly, so we're going to do a thousand crunches because I have a video on spot reduction where you just can't, plain and simple, there's no such thing as spot reduction and you can't just say, well, I've got fat arms, so I want to work on my arms. It doesn't work like that. Because all you're doing essentially is burning fat from everywhere. All right, so that's what I would suggest, uh, going into a progressive overload form. But like I said, you're going to get to a point where you can't lift too much more and or it's becoming a strain on your ligaments. Now, you don't have to lift heavy to get the results you're looking after. If you've got the connection between the muscle and your mind and you know that you're building out your bicep, have a slow eccentric phase, quick con concentric, so quick up, slow down, quick up, slow down. I guarantee you eight to ten of those where you're actually not just banging it out like this, you're actually concentrating on the movement to a full range, so if this would be a bicep curl, so it's quick up, slow down, quick up, slow down. If you're concentrating on that movement at a full range, I guarantee you could just simply do the same program that you're doing and do it that way. Um, I don't really have much more to say on that in regards to doing exercises and I hope you understand what sets and reps are. If you're looking to change up your program um, and you want some advice, come over to my fitness uh, website, www.hoolsfitness.com.au. Go to the coaching online and uh, you know I'll do you up a program. So as usual, guys, comment and subscribe, like my video, and we'll talk next time.